Hello everybody, it's Android Gamer. I'm back with Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father. So we are now a Shadow Hunter. We got the key, we talked to a dragon, they burned us alive. Before I go in the library. I don't believe it. It's the key from my dream. I'm going to go down and talk to the assistant. Guten Morgen, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please, feel at home. <clears throat> Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. You wouldn't know anything about this key I found in Wolfgang's bedroom now, would you? Key? Why no, Herr Knight. I cannot say that I do. Okay. Go straight up and into the room, I guess. <clears throat> Of course it fit. Where do you expect? Oh, it's a library. This <clears throat> part of the library contains books on the occult. Nope. These shelves contain books on archaeology. Actually, I want to see what that says again. This part of the library contains books on the occult. Necromancy, witchcraft, demonology, lycanthropes. These shelves contain books on religions of all kinds. These shelves contain history books. More colorful tapestries soften the stone walls here. On the wall is the image of a shield taking up several stone tiles. However, the image in its center looks jumbled and out of order. Okay. It moves. I always have to don't worry about. What can I? This is sending me fish here, so I'm glad that I don't have to slide or wherever. I just wonder. Okay, good. That does not seem to want to work. Why is that? It's because that is not the right spot. There we go. There. Gabriel slides the last tile there into place, revealing a compelling coat of arms image of a lion and a snake that looks familiar somehow. With the shield's image in the proper order, the wall opens to reveal a hidden oh, room. Good job. Gabriel wouldn't know where to begin. Okay, <clears throat> go in the door then. <clears throat> Behind the wall is a shrine to Schottenjäger's past. Their weapons, trophies, and legacy. Shot Jaeger trophy room. Fucking awesome. Well then. And now what? A 
Although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts, Gabriel picks up a book from the Ritter section. This book is entitled Malleus Maleficarum, The Witch Hammer. Dated 1486, it's a witch hunter's manual from the Inquisition. Okay. I'm not so sure I'm really interested in knowing about some of my ancestors. Is there anything else there? Although no, it probably something. won't share that... Interesting. Oh, oh. It seems that her husband, one frowning Ritter, had rescued this one. This family tree really goes way back. Okay, I'll try some more. The Ritter documents are fascinating. Oh, oh. But Gabriel is determined to stay focused on the task at hand. Gabriel's not sure where to start with these books. Gabriel wouldn't know where to start reading the archaeology books. Okay. So there's absolutely nothing in that room I can click on. title catches Gabriel's eye. People's Republic of Benin by Lowell Cayley. Gabriel pulls out a book entitled People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse mm. cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, no, this area this was populated by some of the artists, fiercest and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fans, the Dahomies, and the Terrible Agri. The book The Primal Ones by John Roots provides insight into these fascinating cultures. Okay. Gabriel pulls out the People's that Republic of Benin before slave. The book Okay. <clears throat> well, that was somewhat useful. The question is, what else do I do? Ask you a few questions. Yeah, of course. Nope, still nothing new. Still think. No. Nope. Okay, let's see. What should I do with this book I found? Two to eight. Books often refer reference other sources of books. I should see if there's any other books nearby. Okay. Gabriel's not sure where to. Gabriel wouldn't know where. There we go. Gabriel takes down the primal ones and opens it. In contrast with the peaceful, nomadic tribes of northern Africa, certain tribes of the southwest were vicious and xenophobic. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed, in a perpetual state of war and raiding, some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, one must look even further back, see ancient roots of Africa by early days. Okay. Try that one. Gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa so. and browses through it. 
The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin Egypt. region is traceable so to their predecessors. In, regards to religion. in Egyptian time, 4,000 to 2,000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exists in Africa today. See Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. Yep. Come on. There we go. Gabriel takes down Sun Worshippers and scans it. One of the most earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. Africa then. The African sun god was violent and terrible, and hmm. so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. The homeland of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. Go there. Although it probably isn't connected with the case at hand, Gabriel picks up an occult book. It's a book on lycanthropes, no, shapeshifters. The book claims that lycanthropy is not uncommon. Supposedly, there's been evidence of apparently normal human beings turning into yeah. various beasts throughout history including some famous trials from the Middle Ages. Fascinating. Gabriel's made a few women turn into beasts <laughs> himself. Let's get back to this one then. Gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa and browses through it. The ferocity of the tribes in the that. Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessor. We know a little about Sea Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. Okay. Nope, Gabriel that's... takes down the primal one. In contrast, this part. In this one, area, why did this. Okay. Back here. Gabriel takes down Sun Worship. One of the most early. The African Sun. The homeland of this ancient, ancient cult digs. is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour. These shelves contain... These shelves contain history books. Gabriel recognizes a title. Ancient Roots of Africa by Early yeah, Days. Look at that. These shelves contain books and doc Journals, diaries. Something to peruse extent. These shelves contain books, journal, something to. These shelves display books on geography. These shelves. These shelves contain books on archaeology. Gabriel recognizes a title Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shaw. As if shelves did look at. <clears throat> Gabriel takes ancient digs of Africa and opens. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the snake mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery. Though clearly they were the result of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound. A double a small snake. small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists explored the mound site, the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstition. The local people regard the mound with fear and won't go near it. A double snake ring? Gabriel flips furiously, looking for a picture. Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. Gabriel decides to hang on to the snake mound book. Okay. I 
I guess I gotta talk to her then. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. Africa? You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, I guess so. Good, good. My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? Did the state pay for it? Are you sure the Ritter estate can't pay? I manage Wolfgang's books, I am quite sure. Have you any money? I know, we can use his credit card. Terrific. I will go make the call. Then, while we wait, breakfast. Does that mean I can get some coffee now? No, she's gonna hate me. Now to Africa. Day nine, and then the wheel went round and round. I can't find my way. Twelve and three, turn the key. I hear the madman say. You want I stay here, right? It's a long walk back to the city. Yeah, sure. Wait here, please. I may be a while, though. No problem. I could use a nap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, now we're in Africa, um, so I think this might be a good place to stop. Uh, it seems like we're close to the end. I mean, I believe there's only 10 days, so two more days left. Uh, you want to follow along and uh, please subscribe to my channel because I see a lot of people aren't and it's always good to have subscribers. It's Android Gamer, later days and happy gaming!